Hey dudes, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about taming and training pets in Season of Discovery. So whether you're brand new, because you just got peer pressured into playing this game by your friends who won't shut up about it, or you're coming back from a long break, whatever it is, I got you covered. So first thing, of course you need to be level 10 to even tame a pet. Then once you are level 10, you learn this thing called beast training. And what beast training is, is how you put different abilities on the pet. So pets have training points. Training points are earned by both XP and by uh, loyalty or happiness. So feeding them will increase that happiness. You always want them to be happy because now they're going to do more damage. And um, what they eat depends on their family of, of pet. So we'll do wind serpents because that's what the wyvern is. He's a wind serpent. So they like to eat bread, cheese, and fish. Okay, so I'll just feed that to them and eventually you get more of those uh, points. Now, also within the pet families, there's a few things you, get, you need to know. And this is different for all the uh, pet families. And you can, I'll link this website and you can go through and see the values on those ones for yourself. But um, a wind serpent is technically offensive, which means its attack speed is higher than most. So it's going to attack faster, therefore do more damage. Uh, typically, the trade-off is if it has a faster attack speed, it has lower armor or health but um then furthermore within the pet families there are abilities that those specific ones can learn so these are all the ones that a wind serpent can learn bite and lightning breath are your two that actually do damage um every pet can growl as well and every pet can learn these passive abilities from a hunter trainer who's in your capital cities or it's not hunter trainer excuse me pet trainer which are near the hunter trainers in your capital city but uh, we'll go through Bite and Lightning Breath, and we'll talk about how do I learn higher levels of Bite or Lightning Breath to make my pet do more damage. So this applies to all of them. So there's Bite, Claw, Charge. It depends on your pet's family and uh, the abilities that you can learn from the other pets out in the world. So for Bite, for example, uh, I can learn it off Wolves and Spiders. So in your starting zones, typically, are going to be where you learn Bite 1, Charge 1 claw one things like that so once i've tamed one of those dudes i can fight with him for a little bit and then a thing will pop up in the chat that says you have learned bite one once you learn new levels of stuff it'll go into your beast training book so now say i've been fighting with the same wolf for a while i've just kept the same pet and now i just hit level like 18 and oh yeah i, I want to learn bite three well, you can't just go tame one of these things to learn Bite 3 because you don't know Bite 2. So it is sequential. You have to know each level of it to be able to... So you have to know the lower levels to learn the higher levels, right? So it goes in order. But um, right now we're capped. I mean, 25 is a level cap, so your pet can learn Bite 4, which will be the strongest one. And again, this is the same for all the other ones. I just picked Bite. But um, that's really about it, guys. It's it's not too complicated once you look into it and begin to understand it. Uh, if you guys are having any troubles with it or have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm happy to share my knowledge with you. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.